Snitzel is lost by Hans Wilhelm. One day, the garden gate was left open. When Snitzel saw it, he cried, Yippee! Let's explore! Wait! said his friend Pretzel. Maybe we shouldn't. It might be dangerous. Don't be silly, replied Snitzel as he raced through the gate and into the street. Pretzel followed Snitzel as he jumped into a huge pile of leaves. What fun! Snitzel shouted, and Pretzel had to agree. It was certainly more exciting here than in their backyard. <coughs> Let's catch leaves, suggested Snitzel, as he followed a beautiful yellow leaf that danced in the wind. <coughs> Please, don't go too far, cried Pretzel. But Snitzel did not hear. He was too busy chasing his leaf. He ran and ran, and finally he caught it. Then he looked around. Where am I? He wondered. Where are the trees, the leaves? Where is Pretzel? Oh no, he cried. I hope I'm not lost. He ran back the way he thought he had come. But he could find no trees and no pretzel. He ran up and down, street after street, and still nothing looked like home. Finally, Snitzel knew that he was hopelessly lost. Tears came to Snitzel's eyes. I'm lost. Please help me, he cried. I want to go home. But it seemed that no one had time for a little lost dog. Over and over again, Snitzel cried. I want to go home. After a while, Snitzel knew he had to do something. He couldn't just wait here where nobody knew him or even cared what happened to him. Maybe I should try the other side of the street, he thought, and carefully step off the curb. Went the tires of a huge car as it nearly ran over Snitzel. Frightened, he ran on as fast as his legs would carry him. Suddenly, he was no longer alone. Someone was chasing him. Someone much bigger than Snitzel. Someone with a terrible green and huge teeth. No matter how fast Snitzel ran, those huge teeth kept getting closer and closer. <coughs> At a corner, Snitzel saw several people going through a narrow door. Snitzel ran for it as fast as he could. I hope I can lose him there, he thought. Quickly, the doors closed behind Snitzel. He was safe at last. At least, that's what he thought. Suddenly, the whole place moved and shook. <sighs> Nobody around Snitzel seemed to notice, but Snitzel was frightened. I have to get out of here, he thought. This is too scary. After a while, the doors opened again and Snitzel jumped out as fast as he could. Right into a huge pile of leaves. Wow! cried Snitzel. 
This looks like the same pile of leaves I played in with Pretzel. He looked around and saw the gate to his backyard. It was still open. Snitzel was home again. Running up the steps, he caught a beautiful yellow leaf. Pretzel was so happy when Snitzel came in. Where were you? I was so worried. What happened? She cried. I was chasing leaves, said Snitzel. Why, did you think I was lost? Of course not, Pretzel smiled. You are much too clever for that. Snitzel blushed, then he gave Pretzel the leaf. This is for you, he said. Thank you, said Pretzel. It's beautiful. That night, before the two friends went to sleep, Pretzel asked Snitzel, Were you scared when you were lost? Well, a little, admitted Snitzel and cuddled a little closer to his friend Pretzel.